Hello, boys and girls. We are back with part two of How Lizard Lost His Colors. Do you remember what happened in part one? You do? The lizard was on a rock. The rock rolled down the hill and Coyote was about to eat him. Let's find out what happens next. Let's read. Do you have your reading glasses on? Lizard was stuck under the rock for a long time. He got thin. He got flat. At last, Lizard was able to wiggle out. Now, do you see Lizard? Now do you see Lizard? Here he is. <gasps> He's kind of hiding. He doesn't have all of his colors. He's not green anymore. What color is he? He's yellow. What else is yellow in this picture? The sand is yellow. So the lizard now can hide very easily. Let's review some of these words. He got thin. What did we learn in section one that is the opposite of thin? Fat. Thin, fat. He also got flat, flat. Because he got smushed, or the rock is smushing him. Smush. It might be a new word for you. At last, Lizard was able to... Do you see this word? Do you see the R? We don't pronounce the R. We don't say, wriggle, wriggle. Cross it out and just say, wiggle, wiggle. I want you to wiggle with me. Are you ready? Three, two, one, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. So the lizard wiggled from out under the rock. But now he is thin and flat. Let's find out if the coyote eats him. Got your reading glasses on? But Lizard's beautiful colored skin was gone. It was still under the rock. His tail... What? His tail was left behind, too. Lizard was very sad. Oh, no. This is Lizard. Very sad. Why is he sad? Because his colors are gone and he has no tail. Oh no, under the rock here, his colors and his tail. Oh, let's find out what happened. Let's review a couple of key words first. Do you remember what these are called? In English, we call them cactus. In Korean, we call them suninjung. Suninjung. And lizard in English, but in Korean, domabem. Domabem. And where are we? We are in the desert, so in Korean we say samak. Samak. Huh. Would you be happy if you lost a finger? No. How about a whole hand? If you lost a hand, would you be happy? I wouldn't. 
so Lizard must be very sad. But I think Lizard has a surprise for us. Let's find out. Let's read. Mother Earth saw Lizard. She said, Don't be sad, Lizard. Now you are hard to catch. Your beautiful colors are gone. Okay, so here we have Lizard. He is yellow. He looks the same as the sand. So Mother Earth, or nature, said to him, You are hard to catch. Catch. Catch or grab. Do you remember who wants to catch Lizard? Hmm, was it dog? No. Was it a bird? No. Was it coyote? Yes. Why does coyote want to catch lizard? Yes. Coyote wants to eat lizard. But now, can Coyote find Lizard? Not easily. Why not? Why can't Coyote find Lizard? Very good. Because he matches the sand. So, when Coyote looks for Lizard, all the coyote will see is sand. How does that make Lizard feel? Happy, because coyote won't eat him. You ready for the next page? Okay, got your reading glasses on? But now your skin matches the desert sand. Coyote will find it hard to see you. Your tail will grow back. If you are caught, you can drop off your tail. Wow! So we learned the color yellow helps lizard. How does it help? So Coyote will find it hard to see him. Coyote cannot find Lizard. But there's something new. Remember, if you lost your hand, how would you feel? Very sad. But what if your hand grew back? <gasps> That's what can happen with a lizard's tail. They can take it off. So if Coyote comes and bites lizard's tail, lizard can just remove it, take it off, drop it off, and then run away. But lizard's tail will grow back. So, if I cut off my finger, oh no, but it will grow back. Wow, that's amazing. So now, Lizard is protecting himself from Coyote. We finished part two. Part two, stay with me and I'll see you soon for part Three, let's find out more about lizards.